So we have gone from sketching into this digital model world, of have created three forms to work off of, and now in this lecture we're going to uh, pick one to start to add our details to. So I'm choosing this middle guy that looks like, a, like an egg shape to start to add our details to, so the pencil insertion point and some of the part lines that we have. And so you'll see I just deleted that face, showing that in the sculpt mode we have, we are using T-spline bodies. But if we go to finish form that I just clicked, it basically bakes those ideas. And so now when we start to cut and puncture this object, it'll be a solid body that we can now start to cut into. And as long as your T-spline is closed and there are no overlapping geometries in there, once you hit finish form and bake the object, it will go into the solid modeling mode where we can then start to fill it, chamfer, uh, trim, cut the body, things like that. And so that's where we'll be adding all of these details in. And so we're going to go back to this perspective view and orthographic views that we've made, and especially the orthographic ones, and start to um, sketch out these details in terms of parting lines. And so the main that one that we're going to be focused on is this back kind of third section. And then also later we're going to uh, put in the whole insertion point. And so the way that I like to add my details is uh, splitting bodies. So basically drawing a two-dimensional sketch on a plane, and then from there splitting the body from those lines. So I'm going to create a sketch on this front plane, and just create a general idea of where this party line is going to go. So again, focusing on the why of these lessons, we're not going to really be doing too many like exact dimensioning or details or worrying about kind of the how these things are going to work in terms of modeling each individual part. We're really just worried about the, the overall forms and generating concepts really quickly to get our ideas out there and then presented to either a client or our fellow employees or employers. So you see I've sketched out three lines. We won't, I won't be using the, the two lines on the right, just the, just the diagonal line. And I'm going to go under Modify, I'm going to go to Split Body. It's going to bring up a dialog box to the right, and it's going to ask us for a body to split. And so we're going to click our pencil sharpener. It's going to ask for a splitting tool, and that's where we're going to click on one of our lines that we've just sketched. And you see if I go into my perspective view, it creates a red plane. And so this is going to be the, the splitting plane that's going to split our body. And so if I hit OK, you'll see we now have a line that splits our body. So it's split into body 2 and then into body 4. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move body 2 back. If I just hit the M key for move, you'll see that it brings up a cursor that we can now move it straight back. And so this is in the model mode, so you can see that when we cut it, it's now a solid body instead of the T-spline that we deleted that face off of. So now I'm going to go to Modify and Shell. And what this is going to do is it's going to hollow out the inside of these two bodies that we just made. So I'm going to click the flat plane that we just cut, or that we just split the body off of, and I'm going to uh, type in 0 .0625. And so now that whole thickness around the uh, body 2 is now 0 0.0625 um, in diameter. And so I'm going to right click and drag up. And what that does is that repeats the command that we previously used. And I'll do the same thing for this back body. So I'll, I'll click that face, type in 0 0.0625, and then it'll shell that out. So now I'm going to create another sketch on this right plane. And now we're going to start to sketch out our, our uh, pencil insertion point. So I'm going to click the middle of this uh, circular form, and then I'm going to make this circle. I'm going to make the circle 0.125 in diameter. So you'll see that when you start to drag out bodies like circles, it'll give you a uh, dimensioning point or a dimensioning number, you can, and you can type in your length. And so I'm going to hit O for offset that you see here, and I'm going to click on the circle, and it brings up a dialog box for us to offset that circle, and then I'm going to type in to that number point. Um, 0 0.0625 again. I'm going to stop my sketch, and then again I'm going to split this body. So I'm going to split body 4 with the bigger circle that I sketched out, and you'll see that it gives us the red line to see where this body, where this body is going to, be split, going to be split. And now you can see that our body is now split into body 4 and then to body 5 where that circle is. And if you go under your sketches tab, you'll see that sketch 2 
I've turned back on. If you just click that little light bulb, it turns your sketch back on. I'll right click and drag up to repeat split body. I'll split the circle body and then I'll click the smaller circle sketch. And then now you see that the bigger circle has been split by the smaller circle. So I'll turn off my sketch by clicking that light bulb. And then I will also turn off uh, body four, which is the smaller circle by just clicking the light bulb under the bodies tab again. And so now you see I'm starting to get an insertion point for my pencil. And so I'm going to go to Modify Fillet, or the F key that you can hit on your keyboard. And a really good way to make parting lines distinctive is to add uh, small radiuses to them. So like I did in the sketching, where I did my parting lines and then I added kind of little curves or fillets on the end of them to delineate the separation, I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to type in .0625 divided by 8, because you can type in um, mathematical um, equations as well, and it will and it will calculate them on spot and then give you the right uh, diameter. So if you did um, 2 divided by 2, it will give you 1. If you did 4 divided by 2, it will give you 2. So I'm going to right click, drag up to repeat the fillet command and fillet that other parting line on the other side. And so I'm going to move body 2 back so it lines up with body 4. And you can see that the part line is now pretty prominent in there. And so now, there's another command called chamfer. Fillet adds a uh, radius, chamfer adds an, an angled cut to your, to your edge. So I'm going to go under modify, I'm going to hit chamfer, and I'm going to click this front edge of the smaller circle. And if you can type in your value, but you can also click and drag this kind of arrow cursor that you have at the front to also get a dimension in there. So you see if I click and drag it uh, back, it starts to update it in real time to give us a, a live look at what, this thing, what the chamfer is going to look like. So I'm going to type in point zero two five, and now you see the insertion point now has a chamfer. And then what I like to do with everything is always fill it, because it always gives it a more realistic look if you do. So I just hit F to fill it everything. I'm going to type in point zero six two five, and you see it's too big, so I'm going to divide that by 8. And you see it gives everything a nice fill it to it. So go ahead guys, add details to the form that you have picked out and add the details that you have sketched in Sketchbook Pro to it by splitting your bodies and maybe even shelling it out a little bit. And then from here we're going to jump into the render mode and this will allow us to add some material to our bodies and then render it so when we do bring it back into Sketchbook Pro it'll look more realistic and it'll give us a nicer image to edit when we import it back into that program.